Hello everyone! Welcome to Jungi Channel. For today's video, I am here in Rumbor, Czech Republic. Join me in this travel video as we are going to discover this beautiful town of Czech Republic. Rumborg is a town in Dichin, district of the Czech Republic. The first written mention of Rumborg is from 1298. In 1377, it is already referred to as a town. Between 1713 and 1764, English merchants settled here and foreign capital has contributed to long-term development of the town. In 1869, the railroad was built. In 1938, it was occupied by the Nazi army as one of the municipalities in Sudetenland. The German-speaking population was expelled in 1945 and replaced by Czech settlers using the adopted name Rumborg. Rumborg has historical center with many valuable houses. In the town, there are also important monuments of folk architecture, half-timbered houses. The area with half-timbered houses is protected by law as a village monument reservation. The main landmark is the Baroque Loretta Chapel. It was built by plans of Johann Lucas von Hildebrand in 1704 to 1707. It is surrounded by a cloister with a rich ceiling painted from the life of the Virgin Mary, four chapels and a restored chapel of the Holy Steps. Loretta in Rumborg was an important Marian pilgrimage site for the region of northern Bohemia and upper Lusatia. The original wooden church of St. Bartholomew was built in the late 12th or early 13th century. The oldest written mention dates from 1352. The building was severely damaged by fires in 1515, 1624, and 1744. Its current appearance is from the reconstruction in 1755. After repeated fires in the 17th and 18th centuries, the church was consecrated again in 1746. The neo-Romanist interior with ceiling paintings is dominated by a Rococo altar from the 18th century. Rumbor is a quiet community. I have noticed that their roads are not that wide and the traffic flow is not that heavy. The people in Rumborg are kind and respectful even though most of the locals who live there do not speak much English. They still try to communicate using their native language and guide you as best as they can. The Rumborg Market Square is surrounded with buildings full of shops and restaurants. It also served as a huge parking space for many Rumborg residents. In the middle, you can find a column that served as an ornament and is one of the interesting sacred monuments of the city. It recalls the plague epidemic in the 17th century. The column is an early Baroque work and was placed in the square in 1681. In the middle of the space, which is enclosed by a metal fence, is a prismatic pedestrian a column with the statue of the Virgin Mary emerges from it. Her statue was placed on the column in 1755. At the top of the column is a prism that resembles a stone lantern. Paintings of the Holy Trinity cover the sides of the prism. Around the column are statues of the seven saints on separate pedestals. The column was gradually supplemented St. Florian in 1725. A year later, St. Lawrence, St. Joseph, and St. John of Nipomuk. St. John the Baptist is from 1775. Statues of St. Anthony and St. Bartholomew are new copies. The names of the creators of the column and the saints are unknown. The column in this design is quite unique.
So finally, I'm inside this um, Asian restaurant here in uh, Rumburg, Czech Republic. No, so it's just nearby the Mark Platz, and uh, I will also include the outside look of this restaurant here in this um, place. So I'm very lucky because the 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 staff here can speak English, and you can also use your card if you don't have cash with you to pay for the food. So it's very pleasant and a friendly environment here. It's quiet, maybe. As of now, it's already 11 a.m. here in Rumbor, Czech Republic, but um, I think the people are still inside their houses or maybe they're working right now or it's just not like a busy day today. Today is Monday. So I'm very happy that I found this restaurant now. So if you come here in this place, uh, Rumbor, Czech Republic, you can come by and eat here also because it's a very pleasant environment and it's also clean in this place. Here comes my order. I'm going to eat now. I am happy to share my travel experience in Rumbor, Czech Republic. Every story is very important to stay in a community and to experience and to see the old things that make everyone happy, not only in Rumbor, but in everywhere in their area. Rumbor is really beautiful and a really peaceful place. And if you really want to travel, I really highly recommend this in your next travel, Rumbor, Czech Republic. I hope that you like this video. Until my next travel, cheers! Mm -hmm.